Hello, brothers and sisters, and we are continuing our action in this month of Ramadan. There is always a reflection to understand the magnanimity of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Everything that everything that we do, every reflection. And Ramadan Ramadan is not great because of Ramadan. Ramadan is great because of what? Anybody? Because of what? Because of Quran. Ramadan is not great because it's the name of Ramadan. But it's great because of Quran. Because remember, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created the universe and he created the pen, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commanded the pen to book to write. And what it writes, the pen says what to write. It says write everything that will happen until the end of time. And so everything was written with the command of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And what the Prophet says, Rufiyati Lakla, Wajabati Sahab. The pens have lifted and the ink have dried. So when we reflect on Allah, you see, in our in our situation, we plan five years, two years, ten years in common in common words or in in, in, in common understanding. We call it strategic planning. We have a person plan for five years ahead, ten years ahead. But can you imagine the power and the magnanimity of Allah that He plans from the beginning of time to the end of time? All the way. And that's the reason why in the Ramadan, the plan of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the suhab that was revealed to Ibrahim was revealed in Ramadan. That was written from the beginning of time. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has chosen this month of Ramadan to send his connection to the dunya. So the suhab of Ibrahim was given or revealed in Ramadan. The Torah was given to Musa, Moses, in Ramadan. That's the plan of Allah. The Zahur, the Sams, was given to David, Dawood, in the month of Ramadan. The Injil, the New Testament, was given to Jesus, Isa in the month of Ramadan. And to culminate all of that, when all these books become corrupted, Allah revealed the Quran in the month of Ramadan. SubhanAllah. Can you imagine the, the, the greatness and the, uh, the power and the wisdom of Allah to plan from the beginning to the end of time. And the Quran, this is the reason why in Ramadan, we celebrate the Quran. It's a celebration of the revelation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that is what makes Ramadan great. And this is what the Prophet says, Al-Quran hujjatul latawari. The Quran will be an argument for you, or it will be an argument against you. Because imagine all of these books, the Sukkot, the Zahur, the Torah, the Injil, all was compiled and connected within the Quran. So now you don't have to look at these other books, although you still believe they were revealed books, but all of that now is culminated in the last revelation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the Quran. And that's the reason why in Ramadan, we, we, we do not only recite the Quran, but we reflect about the magnanimity of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the power of Allah, the vision, the wisdom. This cannot be done by any man. This can only be done by our Creator, Allah, our Lord. No one can do this. And that's the reason why, you know, and I will end with this. Um Ayman, um, um Ayman was 
like another mother for the prophet. She was there when the prophet was born. And she took care of the prophet from birth until death. She outlived the prophet, Um Ayman, brother. And after the death of the prophet, she was so grieved and so empty in her heart. She went and she was living on the outskirts of Medina. She was living in the outskirts of Medina. So even after the death of the Prophet, because of the Prophet's connection to this woman, Abu Bakr Siddiq and Amr used to go and visit her. They want to keep up the tradition of Rasulullah. Because you know what the Prophet says? He says, Ummi ba'da Ummi. This is my mother after my mother. He used to refer to her, to her as a mother because she was there from her birth. So when they, one day they went and they visited her, and when, they, when she saw Abu Bakr and Amr, she started to cry. She started to weep so badly. And Abu Bakr Siddiq says, Yeah, where are you crying? All of us have to face death. He's, tr he's trying to comfort her. And so Allah had to go. I mean, who knows in life to know every soul thing yet? And out of her wisdom, she turned to him and said, Yeah, Abba, I'm not crying, I know. I'm not crying because Rasulullah is not here anymore. I'm crying because the connection between the heavens and the earth is cut off. The revelation is cut off. There is no revelation. There is no connection from the heavens to the earth. And that's what I'm trying for. I feel lonely because of this connection. And so in this month of Ramadan, that connection is made. How that connection is made? The angels come down from the heavens to the earth. In this month of Ramadan. And that connection is made. So the Quran becomes so primary in our lives. Not just reciting, but implementing by trying our utmost to follow it. And so, as, as more and more we reflect about Allah, about Ramadan, about the Quran, we see the magnificence of Allah, the power of Allah, the wisdom of Allah, that the Quran should always be our book of guidance. I couldn't call that, I was talking about it, but I couldn't say this, but it's the first chapter in our book of guidance.